Greetings, Keisha Lanes. Keisha Prime here with my live reaction of Kaiju number 8, chapter 68. Alright, where we left off, uh, Kafka is still training, but he's not the only one training. And if I remember right, he's actually gaining support from his former, you know, comrades. Like, they don't view him in the same way that he feared they would, which is a great morale booster. But, where will things go from here? We've got... Oh, that's number nine right there. Eagerly waiting for the coming war. Alrighty, no title. Uh, you gonna load? Was that just a black page then why the hell would they have put that there anyway i'm at my limit wait who's that oh it's the chief i've been fighting back from the inside but this seems to be as far as i can go hmm. so he's inside nine and nine's about to fully assimilate him i'm out of time they're growing in ways far beyond what i could have ever ma imagined so what, the kaiju? Okay, there's a du Okay, what the fuck is that thing? And uh, Namada City, Gunma Prefecture in the mountains. A member of a hunting club uh, reported seeing a giant, white, luminous monster while out hunting bears. Yeah, I guess that is a thing in Japan, isn't it? Hunting bears. Okay, we are on a train now. Uh, a Geo City, Saitama Prefecture. What punch? Um, the, the train stopped. What, what is that? So, probably a giant foot on the tracks, I'm guessing. Or not. It's that weird, monolithic, multi faced monstrosity. On the Shonan, uh,. Shinjuku line departing from Shinjuku at 1520. The conductor spotted a mysterious monolith above the track, smiling eerily. Would you really call that smiling? It looks more like they're they have big old fish lips and they're just kind of you know as it flew up into the sky. Okay, it flew up into the sky. Where the fuck did it come from? Because it's kind of in the middle of some uh, power lines. Shibuya Ward, Tokyo. Okay, we've got a brainy buddy. A humanoid monster suddenly appeared in the Shibuya. What? Shibuya. <laughs> I literally had just pronounced it. I don't know why I couldn't say that. Uh, in the Shibuya... Scramble Crossing near the Hachiko. Oh, is that the place where everybody like gathers on Halloween? Yeah, Japan has like a big Halloween party that's kind of illegal because they do it in the middle of a major crossing near the uh, Hachiko exit. It just has a gaping hole in its face. All right. It observed its surroundings for about three minutes, then disappeared. Yeah, it just kind of floated off as if it was riding a unicycle. Ch uh, Chigasaki City, Nanagawa Prefecture. We're at the beach now. Huh? Rain? It's raining fishes. It's raining fishes. What the fuck is causing all of this rain and fishes? F fish? What's that? Okay. After a mysterious phenomena where fish fell from the sky, this thing is like sucking them up, but in the weirdest twist, it's like coming out of the water. Hmm. A monster was seen eating fish by sucking them up from the water. It then disappeared into the wo into the sea without coming ashore. Maybe for the best, but also there's going to be like no f fish left. Tohoku uh, Expressway, Toji or 
Tochigi uh, Prefecture. Huh, this guy on the freeway is now uh, seeing a, a sprinter right? monster? Okay. Why does this seem like freaking Ghostbusters when all the monsters, or not the monsters, but the ghosts started coming back and the city went amok? That's kind of what this is reminding me of. Even the fact that there's literally a jogger, just like in that, like their catching montage. Uh, near, um, Kami Kawachi service area, a monster was seen moving at a high speed as if it were competing with cars. After running about 12 kilometers, it disappeared. Okay, so they all seem to be disappearing or just going away. Hmm. Soda Ga or so Gaura City, Chiba Prefecture again. Okay, so we're at a power plant. It looks like several incidents. Oh, it's oil. Never mind. Several incidences of uh, oil storage tanks being emptied have been reported. The emptied tanks have been have seen to have been, uh, have holes on their sides measuring 15 centimeters. So, oh, not even six feet. Okay, six inches, sorry. Blah. Okay, so the, the kaiju are kind of just doing random shit, but I'm thinking this is all for a plan, maybe? <laughs> we got, like, a brainy alien. Alien. Uh, it looks more like a, a typical alien to me. Uh, kaiju, so it must have been observing people. But So is this all number nines doing, maybe? Hokuto City. Uh, Yamanashi Prefecture. Mysterious giant craters have seemed to have been caused by massive impacts were discovered by hikers. It is currently unknown whether they were caused by meteors or a monster. Well, given everything else, I'd say a kaiju. A Ra'aki uh, coastal base. So now we're back. I believe this is sector or um, shit. Squad one? Whatever. I don't know. The first division. Uh, what the hell is going on out there? There's been 14 unresolved monster incidents in just this past month. This is unprecedented. Oh, so it's over the course of a month. The one thing they share is they all vanished before defense forces arrived on the scene. Clearly, they're more intelligent than typical monsters. It's probably a sign of an impending disaster with number nine. Well, ain't he a bright one? If so, the rate of monster generation is accelerating far faster than what we know, even from number 10. We must have countermeasures quickly, Hoshino. Uh, give us a report on the progress. Yes, sir. Currently, preparations are underway for the operation of decentralized reserve power plants for capital uh, function. The... F uh, I can't say the word facilitation of urban fortification and evacuation and the construction of additional underground shelters. Requesting cooperation from other countries is being considered, but due to the multiple issues with the subjugation treaty and the difficulty of coordinating with other governments over concerns about the potential leaking of monster materials, I believe it will be tough to get their support in a short period of time. Hmm. And the vice chief is uh, putting up some kind of presentation, it looks like. As a subjugation method or measure, we are in the process of unsealing the number one suit and optimizing synchronization with Captain Narumi. Oh. As for number three, five, and seven, there are two or more compatible people with it for each. And we are currently considering whether they should be concentrated in the Kanto region or dispersed throughout the country. 
So number three is up in like Hokkaido. Number five is more no like just south of that. So that's interesting. Where's number seven? It's not showing on the map. In essence, we are putting the full four <clears throat> are the full power of the defense force into fighting these monsters. But if another monster of the class that overpowered ICO appears, it won't be enough. <clears throat> mm. To be able to do nothing but sit back while an unprecedented natural disaster unfolds. What a bittersweet time to be old, right, Iso? Or Iso? My consciousness is fading. I'm sorry, all I can do now is leave it to you. The new generation. Please, Narumi. Ashiro. Young warriors. And you, number eight, Kafka, Habino, save the future, and my daughter of this country, I beg of you. And he slips into darkness. And here be the daughter. There she is. Now that I can take you seriously. Oh, so Narami is, uh training her personally. Take this and make it your own. It's already adjusted to your size and personal traits. Wait, she got number three, five, or seven. Numbers weapon four. Oh. Oh, it's a suit. So it's like number six? Interesting. The instrument of war that Hikari oh it's the it's her mother's Shina Mina or Mia used to send many monsters to their graves I guess they figure she'll have the highest synchronization rate with something that you know because she's the daughter of the previous user I will get revenge for daddy with my own hands mommy lend me your strength light the fire of vengeance Oh, it's going on a hiatus next month. Okay, so I guess all of August basically is done, but that's fine. Okay, so Shinomiya is getting her mother's number, which is interesting. I forget exactly what it was said that it could do. But the training will probably get that and more, I imagine, of what it's capable of. Because, I mean, hell, that was a long time ago. She was a child when her mother died, so a lot could happen. And because it's a different user, you know, different awakening of things, I'm sure, is also prevalent in these. Especially if she ends up using it longer than her mother. So, yeah, she might find its true power and potential um Isao has finally faded into number 9 completely which is sad I mean I'm surprised that he was actually even conscious this whole time like what exactly was this his physical body his spirit what not fully sure what the meaning of that other than his final message where he was like, you know, please, you know, help the future kind of deal. Protect this country. So, nice sentiment, but it's still a weird situation to what made that, you know, phrase. So, hmm. Then, let's see. We also have the reports of numerous kaiju just kind of coming. Staying for a short bit and then disappearing all in the course of just mere minutes in some cases or a distance So I'm wondering if number nine is like Coordinating certain things like gathering information in various ways, you know, be it observation um, Maybe learning the technologies of the average person in terms of the cars like how fast our cars are That kind of deal I could see maybe um, the brain, 
kaiju is probably observing people and maybe extracting their, you know, brain waves. Maybe setting up some kind of hive mind sort of thing where it's like a reverse hive mind where instead of, you know, all the minds are converged together and know everything that the others know, this is more so they've all converged and are connected and he now has like a, a straight direct feed of everybody that he's connected to so he knows their movements. Or something even more devious, who knows. Um, so yeah, like those particularly. The resource loss, like fish, like so are people going to go hungry now? The, uh, the oil, is that going to cause issues with productions of materials that to fight the kaiju? I mean, oil is used to make plastic and plastic can be very durable and whatnot, but I'm not sure. Or it could be used to convert into, you know, diesel and gasoline to power vehicles and the like. So, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of potential reasons for a lot of this going on. But it still gave me a ghost, you know, Ghostbuster vibes, so that was cool. But let's see where the vengeance goes and everything in between also what is up with three five and seven uh, will we get to see them in the near future or not who knows but let me know your own thoughts and opinions anything i missed misunderstood please let me know down below check out my other content including unordinary which should already be up by now um and uh, yeah, links down below for all my social media so you can keep up with my content. Now, ways to contact me. I stream on Twitch where I do gaming and I'll tweet out when I go live. Part of the One Punch Man podcast on Grim Reaper's channel, so go check that out. And as always, later days. And until next time, Keeshlings. Who you gonna call when there's kaiju all around? Call the Defense Force for kaiju killing. Yay. Gonna need some big fucking traps for these bastards. <laughs>